Um, on this Dell Latitude E6410, the first thing you're going to need is a safe pry removal tool. So this one's a nice metal one here. I like this one better because it doesn't break and crack and get little pieces of plastic all over the place. It's nice and thin and uh, just a perfect spludger. So we're going to use this. And then you're also just going to need any uh, mini Phillips screwdriver. So whatever, you know, you can find this anywhere. Auto parts store, Home Depot, uh, wherever. So pawn shop, you know. So first thing you're going to do is there's a small seam on the edges of this LCD uh, cover here. We're going to go ahead and pry this off, the bezel. In order to do that, you start from the top. So you just kind of give it a nice little pry, kind of work yourself around very easily, very slowly. You don't want to put too much pressure. You can break the clips off really easily. It's really simple to do. There we go. As you can see, I'm kind of working down on the edges here. Real simple. I'm going to get the other side. Now on this model, there's no screws on the bezel, so all you have to do is pry it off. There's nothing, absolutely nothing screwing it down at all. So you just pry it out and you're, you're finished. So there we go. I took the bezel out. That's out of my way. Now there's going to be four screws um, right offhand that I can see just, just glancing at the frame that's holding the uh, LCD screen. There's one here, one on the top right, one on the bottom right, one on the bottom left. We're simply going to take those out and then we can see what we got to work with here. Now mind you, I can't remember the last time I worked on an E6410, so if I seem like kind of iffy with what I'm doing, well it's true, I don't think I've messed with the LCD screen on these for a couple years. I get a lot of laptops in this shop every day, and um, it's hard to remember exactly how everything's done, but it's real simple, it's exactly how it looks. So I've already took the screen out from the rear cover. Now on the back of it, you just want to be real careful. There is a ribbon cable that's connected to the back of the screen. Just take the tape off if there is any, really carefully. Move it out of your way. And then you want to pop this clip up and then pull down. And then the ribbon cable is removed. The screen is completely removed. Most screens don't come with a frame that goes on the outer edges, which actually screws the screen onto this back cake cover. So what you want to do is just go ahead and use like a use your same screwdriver and take the screws off the side of this frame. And once you do that, you can just take it off and put it on your new screen. So, all right, the next step will show you how to put it back on. Uh, but I think you already know what you're doing just by looking at this. So, uh, yeah, give me. I'll be right back. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and take the frame off the old LCD screen. I'm going to take the two screws out on the left side. Sometimes they're on really tight. And we're just going to pop this side frame out. And then now we're going to do it on the right side. Sometimes these screws are just super tight. Just try to remember how the frame's put in. It'll save you a headache of, you know, just dealing with it all together. 
Okay, we're going to grab our new screen as we got the old one out. Okay, now there's a protective plastic on the front of the screen. Um, just go ahead and take it off. I mean, if you get fingerprints on it, you're going to wipe it off anyway after you're done with the job. And make sure there's nothing laying on the keyboard with the laptop so you can lay your screen nice and flat back on there. Get your frame and put them right back on as you took them off onto the new screen. They only fit in one way, really. They got clips that kind of fit in the grooves. So, go ahead and put those on real quick. Which is super easy. That's why we only charge about $35 to replace screens on laptops. So we order them direct and then just charge a flat rate. And I'm basically just paying for my time. So we're far reasonable compared to a lot of places I've heard, but we do our best anyways. Okay. As you can see, I almost put it on backwards, but like I said, it only goes in one way. So. If you hear a noise on the background, I'm actually remote flashing a cell phone uh, to a customer in another state right now as we speak. Uh, we don't just replace computers or repair them or sell them. We also uh, flash cell phones nationwide remote to prepaid carriers. My job's pretty interesting anyway. So they're downloading a driver on their computer and uh, it's going by really slow so I'm able to take a break and show you this video uh, while we wait. <laughs> now what I'm doing is the ribbon cable as you can see there's a there's a plastic clip along with a metal clip that kind of attaches onto the new LCD so you just want to slide it in place on this connector right back in place here and then snap it in once you've done that just set your screen right back onto the back cover and it's like it's kind of being there we go I got it. Just being a little stubborn. Okay, put the screws back on, the four screws. I can actually test this screen while I'm putting the screws in even, just to make sure everything's working. So I'm going to turn the laptop on. Well, looks like everything's working great. It looks like they got Linux on this system. <laughs> Got the screws back on, then we just grab the bezel and just snap it right back in place. You can start from the top and just work yourself down on each side, and then finally the bottom.
all set. We just replaced the whole LCD screen. Thanks to LaptopParts.com. And uh, now I can call my customer and after I polish the keyboard and get this all wiped down nice and clean and they're going to be very happy and excited to get their laptop back the same day.